what is up everybody it's Cobes here and today I am back with another Fortnite video and someone left a comment saying I shouldn't say I'm back with another Fortnite video because I always make Fortnite videos but one day I'll be like hello guys it's Cobes and I am back with a Black Ops 4 video or some other bullshit whatever I'm doing hey Cobes hey guys it's Cobes here and I'm back with another vlog <laughs> If that happens, someone please come to my house and execute me in Fortnite, Fortnite, in Fortnite. All right, so in today's video, we are going over the top 10 best skins that you cannot buy in the item shop. So this is Battle Pass skins, this is Save the World skins, this is Twitch Prime skins, and I don't know if there are any other skins that aren't in the categories I just mentioned right there but if there are leave them in the comment section and tell me I don't think I missed any skins and if I did well it doesn't really matter because I think I have a good list here I really don't think any other skins could make the list that I made so at my number 10 spot I gave it to the Sun Strider and I absolutely love this skin this skin stands out so much in this game and I'm sorry for this noise in the background I'm gonna turn on my phone to do not disturb but this is one of the brightest skins in this game if you're going for an all red skin i would say use this skin i think this is honestly one of the most popular battle pass skins we've seen in a very long time i think it's due to daquan using it so often i remember he was using it a ton when i would watch his streams or whenever i see clips of him so maybe that's why why do you guys use the sun strider is it because you really like her look or is it because daquan uses it what is it guys and come on Stop following Daquan. Stop doing exactly what he does. Just get get out of that line and start doing what I do. If you guys don't do what I do, are you really even living your life to the full potential? I would say you're not. Moving on to my number nine spot. I have to give it to Ragnarok, and I feel like Ragnarok is a skin that I have to put on this list. Comparing it to so many other skins on this list, or that didn't make this list, rather, I would say this is one of the most complex, detailed, and amazing designs in this game. I absolutely love Ragnarok. This season, though, I haven't really been using him as much because I'm waiting for him to be at, like, you know, his max potential, his max um, level, which is, I think, level 80 to get him to his last tier, which, honestly, level 80, I know it's a grind, but when you're actually level 80 in a season, it's typically near the end of the season, and I feel like you can't really enjoy that skin because then the next battle pass is already coming out. So, I understand that you should have to grind for certain skins, but I feel like by the time you get that skin, you're only gonna have maybe a few weeks left or maybe even a couple days left that you can actually use them before the next battle pass comes out and i feel like that lose makes him lose some value in my mind i like him at tier four at tier five i think he looks a lot better and i'm not really going to use them all that much at tier five even though i do like him Moving on to my number 8 spot, I had to give it to Redline, and I absolutely love this skin. Comparing it to any other skin with the helmet on, this is probably the best. We have Burnout, we have the Whiteout as well coming out soon, the Overtaker. It may be coming out tonight. We're really just going to have to wait and see, but I will be uploading this video before tonight. So Redline overall, one of my favorite characters with the helmet. I love the fact that she doesn't have like a full bodysuit on or like a huge jacket. She just has like a, a nice tank top on and that's it. She has some tattoos over her body. I think she's a very simple design, but she looks very badass. And I don't know why, but the helmet design without a jacket on looks so great to me. I hope we can see that more in the future. I really doubt it. Um, I guess maybe I also don't want to see it in the future. Maybe this skin will be the only skin like this. But whenever I see like a skin I really love, I always want another version of it. You know what I mean? Another color of it. Another customization towards it. Do you guys think they will release customizable skins in the near future where you can like customize the color for just like a typical random skin? I really hope to see that. That would be amazing. Moving on to my number seven spot. I have to give it to the iconic Black Knight. I feel like if I made the top 10 most iconic skins in this game, Black Knight would easily be in the top three, easily. I don't know if he'd be the number one, he may be, but 
Black Knight, one of the best skins that you can't purchase in the item shop. Not many people have it. Um, not as many people have it as they did the Red Knight. I feel like the Red Knight, um, a ton of people had before it came back out, but now that it came back out again for a second and, or even a third and a fourth time, I feel like the Black Knight has regained a lot of its value since the Red Knight, you know, came out multiple times and really has lost a lot of its value. Imagine buying the Red Knight skin or buying a Red Knight account and then it comes back out again and completely loses all of its value. I'm sorry, rest in peace to all of you guys, but do not buy it accounts. Please don't do it, it's not worth it. A skin could come back. Maybe if it's like a season one account, then I would say possibly buy it if it's a trusted source, but I would still not even recommend that. Moving on to my number six spot. I gave it to Omega, and guys, I just took a look at him in the locker before I made this video. I took a look at each of these skins, trying to figure out which place I should place them in. I think Omega is an amazing skin. I still love him. He's better than Ragnarok in my mind at this point. I love his face design. I love his mask. I love the back of him as well. I love the customizations to his colors. I still think that Drift and Ragnarok will get customizable colors near the end of season five. I still do believe that. I don't know when it will happen or if it will for certain happen, but I do believe it will. Omega, I love that you can customize his colors, even if it's just a little bit, a slight customization. I really do like Omega though, and you cannot buy him. You, you can't buy him now. You can't get him unless you're buying an account. That would be crazy if you bought an Omega account. Like, there's no point. Don't do it. Moving on to my number five spot, I give it to the Trailblazer which is the Twitch Prime exclusive skin number two. I wonder what the third one's gonna be. It seems like it's already like halfway through season five and we still haven't gotten it yet. So I'm really curious if we are going to get a Twitch Prime skin. Do you guys think we will? I'm saying maybe we won't. I don't know for sure if we will or won't, but Trailblazer, one of the best just army designs in this game. A very simple design, but I really do love it. And Trailblazer definitely deserves a spot on this list. You were not able to buy this skin in the item shop. You're only able to get it through um, Twitch Prime. You have to get Twitch Prime. You can get a free trial and then you can get this free skin. Or not, not this one anymore, but you can get this season's free skin. If we actually get it in season five, we'll see. Moving on to my number four spot. I have to give it to the Elite Agent, and this is a super simple design. It sort of reminds me of Redvine this season, but I think Elite Agent is one of those skins we'll never see again. It has that rare value to it, sort of rare I would say. Any Battle Pass skin that is like a few Battle Passes old, I would say has some of that rare value to it. See, even in this season, in season five, I think once we hit season seven or season eight, season five battle pass skins will hold a lot of value. And once we hit season seven, I mean, my God, the season two battle pass skins are gonna hold so much value. And I would say hold on to your account for a while. If you really wanna sell it later on down the line, like that's a good business move, I would say. Do it before this game dies out though. But if you really want to sell your account, you could probably sell it for a decent amount of money. Um, how does that even work? Like, does someone take over your whole account? Like everything, your gamer tag, do they take all of it? Is that how it works? I'm pretty sure that is. That's pretty crazy. That's a pretty crazy deal. But moving on to my number three spot, I have to give it to Drift. I absolutely love Drift. One of my favorite battle, he is my favorite battle pass legendary skin as of right now. I don't know if my mind will change. Maybe later on the Black Knight will move his way up through the ranks and be at my number one spot, but I still love Drift. I love his color scheme. I love the color pink and that jacket he has on. It's, it reminds me of a boxing jacket and also a mafia jacket at the same time. He has this very menacing look about him. I really love him and I love that there's pink on him as well with the menacing look. It doesn't really fit in too well, but it's a good contradiction, I would say. So Drift, definitely a great skin. I love him. I'm glad I got him um, to tier five already. I got it like probably three, four weeks ago maybe five weeks ago, I don't really know exactly, but a long time ago. Moving on to my number two spot. Guys, 
I gave it to the Rose team leader. And this one you cannot buy in the item shop. You have to buy Save the World to get this skin. I would say it's so worth it. She comes with the great back bling, the skirmish, and you also get another legendary skin, War Paint, who I think is good. He just did not make this list. Rose Team Leader, definitely a skin you want to buy. Definitely a skin you need to buy. Go out and buy this skin, even though you can't do it in the item shop. But moving on to my number one spot, for skins you cannot buy in the item shop, I have to give it to the Sparkle Specialist. This is my favorite Battle Pass skin. I don't know if it'll ever be topped because it already has that rare value. Its overall look is something I don't think we'll see again. I really love like the colorful face paint. I love the very vibrant skin design and it's just perfect to me. It really is. Like the lead agent, it's a close second um, for epic battle pass skins, it's a very close second, but I don't think it'll be able to top out Sparkle Specialist. She has the rare factor, she has the colorful design, she has the looks. It's hers. It's hers for the number one spot. It's hers for the number one spot in this video. I hope you guys did enjoy. Tell me what you think the best skin you cannot purchase in the item shop is. Is it a Twitch Prime skin? Is it like the Havoc? Is it Sub Commander? Is it the Rose Team Leader from Save the World? Is it War Paint? Is it Trailblazer? Or is it another Battle Pass skin? What is it, guys? Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. I'll see you guys in the next one.